Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now sometimes the stems are also underground, that is the stems are present below the ground. Now normally we know that roots are always present below the ground, but in certain plants stems are also present below the ground. So these type of underground stems are swollen in structure, so they are swollen tip of stem under the soil. So one of the best examples of these underground stems are the potatoes. So when you look at a potato plant, this is how it looks like. So you actually have potatoes under the ground and these potatoes are nothing but the stem part. So what we eat is nothing but the stem that we eat. So you see that towards the end of the stem you have these swollen structures which we call as potatoes. And these potatoes they store a lot of food. So for food storage they have this swollen structure. So the entire food for the plant is stored in the swollen structure of the stem. So this modification, this stem modification of potato is termed as tuber. It is called tuber. So this particular modification of the stem is called tuber. So here if you look at a stru the structure of a potato in more detail or more so when you look at it very closely you will see that there are certain points which are present on the potato so which we often call as the eye of the potato you see here dotted structures present on the potato so these dotted structures are what they are called eye of the potato and what is that eye that eye is nothing but an axillary bud so that bud can actually give rise to uh, new structures so if if you have ever observed that you take a potato and you you keep it at your home for quite a few days maybe some 15 20 days what happens from these points on the potato tiny green structures start developing so basically this is the stem so the stem can bear leaves the stem can bear fruits the stem can bear flowers the same thing happens here here also it can bear leaves so that's why where you see those green structures and these structures from where all these arise they are called the buds so these eyes of the potato can actually give rise to new plants so not only potato there are many other plants for example uh, you talk about ginger you talk about onion you talk about garlic so all of them have underground stem but the modifications in each of them is slightly different from each other because all of them are underground but they are stru structurally they are slightly different from each other so here we have talked about this specific modification of stem for potato which is termed as tuber and it is primarily used this modification is for food storage so let's look at another underground stem modification which is called bulb and this bulb is present in again a very common thing that we eat and that is onion so it is an underground condensed stem with fleshy leaves so leaves play a very important role here so a lot of leaves are present and they are arranged in concentric fashion what is the meaning of the word concentric? That means you have a circle again that is surrounded by another circle, another circle, another circle and so on. So this is no, these are known as concentric circles. That means the center remains the same for all the circles but their diameter are changing. Now the leaves also when you look at an onion or a garlic. So when you look at the leaves which are present on them, what do you see? One after another, one after another. So with the same center, this is the center, but over that so many multiple leaves are arranged. And this type of arrangement is called an concentric arrangement. So both in onion and garlic, we see that they are also underground. So you see, so they are present below the ground. And they are also swollen structures. So the main purpose of these underground uh, food is, uh, this underground stem is also food storage. But here you have a lot of fleshy leaves. So now if you compare this uh, modification of underground stem with the modification in case of potato, do you see any difference? Structurally they are very much different because in case of potato you did not have the fleshy leaves. Here you have too many leaves, right? So in potato you had the buds from where new plants can rise but here you do not really have those kind of buds. 
so since structurally they are different therefore different names have been given to the two so for uh, potato that modification is called tuber and for onion garlic this modification with fleshy leaves is called bulb similarly there are more modifications of underground stems in uh, in ginger uh, in sweet potato so you we have a lot of different modifications now here at your level we are not getting into the detail of all modifications of stem i just gave few examples of stem modifications to give you an idea that uh, stems can get modified to perform different functions like storing food or providing mechanical support thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again